coming at you. I'm here with ex-NFL kickers Owen Potchman and Glenn Pakalak. Now, Owen, for those of you who don't know, was drafted by the Patriots back in 01, but you Correct. spent most of your career in New York with the Giants. Yep. Finished things up with the 49ers in San Francisco. Not well, Why are you smiling like that? I, you know, some people might dislike me there, but I'm past <laughs> it. Many years of therapy. I'm over it. <laughs> Glenn, on the other hand, was in the league for eight years. You jumped around a bit, but spent most of your time with yeah. the Saints and the Raiders. Is yeah, that the right? Saints and the Raiders. I was, you know, consummate journeyman, just like Owen was, yeah. trying to find a home. All of that is behind them, and they are now the owners and creators of football chains, which is a line of dog tag style necklaces handcrafted from their personal collection of regulation game balls. So I gotta ask you guys, how'd you come up with the idea to take game balls and make jewelry out of them? A broken in football is just so pretty, and I. You know, I'd be like, wow, this is a Giants football, or this is a 49ers football. I was like, there's something cool, but I just started collecting them, saying to myself, I'm going to do something artistic, like with these balls at the end of my career. And then fast forward a few years, and a bunch of balls later, and yeah, neat Glenn. And yeah, you know, and I'm a, I've always been like a kind of sewer of leather, especially vintage leather when it's soft and broken in and subtle. Well, He's either at the gym or Goodwill. Yeah. I never knew that <laughs> NFL two. players went thrift shopping, but I guess I learned something. All our products, even down to like the jump rings, are made in the United States. Yeah. So we're proud of that. Wow, well, it looks like these are truly a labor of love for you guys. And each piece takes a good amount of time, yes. right? Yeah, so I'm wondering if it's taken so much time that perhaps you're not in quite football shape right now. Mm. <laughs> oh, Glenn's looking yeah. a little bit. Hey, I was rusty when I played, so... Yeah. Well, do you think you could still kick with your knee up If you don't mind watching me pull my hamstring, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you get a still shot? Yeah. The white side of the zone When she got that gun, guess she thought she was under top Out of it all starts with the beautiful football. So you have to uh, stab it basically and crack crack it open like uh, some kind of nut. And then once you get it peeled open, um, you know, picking apart every stitch, and then you're going to get four panels from each ball. So the panel, the ball is made of four different leather panels. So you'll crack it open. Here's two of your panels. Here's the other two. There's a bladder inside, you rip the bladder out. So now you have these four panels, but then each one has a liner inside. So then you still have to go through and unpick all the stitching through the inside of the line to get the liner out. And then you're basically left with a piece of awesome pigskin. So once you have the leather panels, um, then comes, we had uh, a metal die fabricated and we have this baby right here, this monster machine. Which to... is also made in Brooklyn, New York, the United States. So, hey, even our machinery is in the United States. <laughs> and so you'll basically you take a panel, you put it down, swing the arm over, turn it on, and cut and press. So then we come in here at this side of the workshop after we cut out the tags from the balls. And now Owen's going to burn a couple of the letters in. And what's kind of cool about this is we do one letter at a time. And, uh, you know, so it's not always easy because we don't want to give somebody something that doesn't, you know, isn't presented well. So, you know, we burn one letter at a time and we just got to try to keep it straight because we don't want to just waste leather by not burning it correctly. And if it had, you know, if it's any direct correlation, maybe I should have picked a better business partner because, you know, he wasn't always straight with his kicks, but he seemed to do pretty good with these uh, easy, leather tags. Easy. I especially like that customers can individualize their mm -hmm. own pieces. Yeah, well, it's funny you mentioned that because we brought you something today. We couldn't let you go home empty handed. Oh, I get my own football team. Yes, yeah. you do. Oh, my goodness. Well, rumor has it you have a four month old, <laughs> adorable little boy oh named Paxton. Gosh. So it says Pax on it. For you guys, I'm going to actually get a little bit emotional. Thank you. That yeah. is You're so welcome. sweet. Well, we just figure it's a proud mom. You can rock it around, and then maybe one day when Paxton's old enough to play football, you can wear it under his pads. Oh, I always said I wanted him to be a punter, and this is going to be great when I'm cheering him on on the side. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Packs in the water. <laughs> this is such a great gift for moms, dads, yeah, I mean, anyone. Wanted to have a 
a unisex necklace that everybody can enjoy the leather and style it up at night during your workout. I love it, guys. Thank yeah. you so much for letting us come and see your process, Thank for you. inviting us into your shop. To order your own football chain, please visit footballchains.com. And for more video features like this, come back to the fantasyfootballgirl.com as well. Let's give everyone a win big. Win, win, win big. big.